Welcome back. They call me MTV. Uh, you tweeted, dating no filter is the greatest gift to 2019. Uh, where does one sign up? Nina Parker, <laughs> the host of dating no filter is with me now to talk about her new show. I love it. It's so funny. Oh, uh, and we're going to do a special <laughs> Valentine's Day edition of Dear Frost. Yes. I love it. Okay. So the concept of dating no filter is like you watch people on first dates from yes. the couch. Yes. I love it. I'm usually watching like from I get know, to be the next table over. Yes. <laughs> I do the same thing. I'm nosy by nature. Oh, I love it. Me too. So Me I need too. to get that on a shirt, nosy yes. by nature. Nosy so by nature. I'm always lurking and looking. If it's not in person, right. it's on Instagram. So this was just very fitting. I and all it. of us who like to kind of just be nosy and mm -hmm. see what people are doing on dates and also feel a little bit better about ourselves. Yes. Like, oh, I'm not very it's dysfunctional. Like, oh, okay. We're all a yeah. disaster. <laughs> you can watch right. this and feel okay about your dating life. Feeling that. Uh, because it, you, we all know that dating can be ups and downs. And yes. it's just really funny. And it's just kind of, you know, there's so much going on. It's just a great way to decompress and watch crazy dates and our commentary on I it. I love it. Well, let's take a look because oh, we need it. <laughs> okay, so have you ever had any like blackout stories from drinking? She already told you she lost an organ. <laughs> like that's not an interesting enough story? Yes. Okay, what's your worst story? <laughs> sure. Let's compare gutters. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my God. Do you, and you, you've seen enough, you've seen a lot out there. Yes. You've seen a lot. Yes. Are there some telltale signs like early on in the day where you're like, this isn't going to go well? Yeah. You know, you can tell quickly if it's all about aesthetics for some people. They're, they start asking you, you know, about your job. Mm -hmm. You know, you can always tell the people who ask about the job because they want to know how to treat you, how much money you're worth, or what do you do? Where do you live? Or they'll say, you know, little cues like that, or little they'll class ask you tells. if you've just sat down for drinks, they'll ask how many partners you've had. So you know that it's going left. And you're like, then, oh, you know, it's okay. not too sincere. <laughs> so then we just watch for fun at uh -huh. that point. Yes. Do you have something for your own life and your own dating experiences that is like, nope, we're over, we're done here. You know, if someone says something in those first few minutes. I hate a name dropper. Yes. I hate a name dropper. Yes. You know, while well, I was in line behind Samuel L. Jackson at the grocery store, yeah. you know, I don't need the name dropping. <laughs> you know, especially in, in L.A. because mm -hmm. it's like at some point oh, you're running okay. into somebody. Uh -huh. So that's a big no-no for me. Fair. Yes, that's a big red flag. What's a consistent, because we, we, we're getting into this advice tease, what's a consistent um, mistake you see people make? And you're like, you don't have to do that. Bro. Yes. Like on this, especially on dating no filter, uh -huh. I see people trying to get physical too quick. Like oh. asking for a kiss or, you know, going in too quickly or making a bet. Like they'll go bowling and one of the guys will say, if I hit a strike, I want to kiss. But they barely know the girl's name. So I want to tell people to slow down and yeah. take their time. That's a lot. Because when you move quickly physically, uh -huh. then it's the feelings are involved. Yeah. So I just want them to like take time a little that's bit. That's fair. That's yeah. And it's the first date. It's yeah. Like, you know, Unless you just don't care and that's what you're in for, then go for what you you're know. like, it's actually not a date at right. all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's a prelude. Uh, <laughs> you also host uh, Nightly Pop on E. You're all yes. over E, sister yes. girl, by the way. Uh, what's it like keeping up with celebrity relationships? Is it different from watching regular people? Oh, it, well, no, it's pretty much the same with keeping yeah. up with my girlfriends, I have to say. Like, you mm. know, in regular relationships, we have ups and downs. Somebody mm. might get cheated on. Somebody's mm. back with their ex, you know, hiding, doesn't want us to know. Uh -huh. So it, you know, I, I tell people like Brad and Angelina drama is the same as your friends drama. It's just publicized, mm -hmm. so it's not very difficult to keep up. It's just the people that kind of change a lot, yeah. you know. But we just keep notes and keep track. And the good thing about Nightly Pop is it's just all in good fun. So yeah. and it's very tongue in cheek. So okay. you know, it's factual, but it's definitely like the lighter side of the relationship. We need that. Yeah. Uh, are there like celebrity couples that you are just like obsessed with? Can't get enough. Like me, Cheyenne Jackson is husband. Yeah. They have two beautiful little kids. Yeah. I'm just all over the Instagram. Like, how are they doing? You know, I'm going through a phase where I am trying not to idolize celebrity relationships as relationship goals mm. because I'm finding that when we pull the cover off, mm -hmm. a lot of the times, you know, like with Chris mm. Pratt, I love their relationship uh, that he had with okay. Anna Ferris. And then I'm like, oh, they're Whoop. breaking up. So you just, and we didn't know there was really any problems until it was over. It so fine. exactly. It yeah. looked like a good relationship, which it, it was, but I'm, that just didn't work for them anymore. Mm -hmm. But for me, that just kind of, throws the relationship goals a little bit into the trash can. So I'm just trying to mind my own business, child. I like that. <laughs> 2019, let's just mind our own business. Because every time we find out what's going on, right. like, oh, we're Lord. disappointed. <laughs> Well, this is something I love. Um, you went from working at a Verizon Wireless Center. Yes. So here you are, thriving. You look gorgeous. Yeah, Shout out you, to the Blue Eyeliner. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you like that? <laughs> I love it yeah, so you, much. When you're all black, you got a little, little color somewhere. Yeah, you somewhere. just pop it. Huh? <laughs> I love it. And, you know, of course, two shows on E. Like, you're thriving. Yeah. Um, what would you say to other people? I think so often. I never in my life thought I'd be hosting a show. Right. Right. So what would you say to people who are just like, right, like, who just feel like, oh, that's not something. That's not possible. It was initially a goal of mine to to be a television host. And as I got older, I, I 
people would tell me that I didn't fit the mold mm -hmm. of what a host is supposed to look like. Mm -hmm. So I had already conditioned myself to be behind the scenes and even fell out of my career for a while working for Verizon until I got so miserable mm -hmm. and not with that company, but just in not yeah, serving like my I'm own not purpose. Doing what I need exactly. To do. That I just took a step out there and I stopped really caring and letting other people validate how I should feel about myself. Mm -hmm. And even though people were telling me I was crazy, I was living in Northern California, I wasn't even in a city really of entertainment. Okay. People were telling me I was crazy, but it didn't feel crazy to me to have those mm -hmm. dreams. Mm -hmm. And I just went for it with it anyway, mm -hmm. you know? And so I really want to say that perseverance and that okay. tenacity, because people will tell you no, because they're so used and conditioned. Mm -hmm. Even when people watch TV, they'll say, yep. I'm not used to seeing you, mm -hmm. so I don't know how to accept it. And I'm like, but I look like your sister. I look like your friend. Right. Why is that impossible to see someone like me on your TV? It sounds like a you problem. Yeah. Not a me problem. And we have to condition people to really understand, like, what you see out in the world is what should be on TV, not the other way around. I love that, Nina. I love that. Well, let's get into Dear Ferocity. Yes. So people DM and tweet me questions, and I give them the best advice I can summon. Okay. Um, but you, you're you far better with dating advice than okay. me. So. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Um, this is all Valentine's Day. Uh, here's one. Uh, for Valentine's Day, my boyfriend brought me tickets to a Broadway show okay. that I've been dying to see for a while. That's okay. lovely. Today, I was just put on a new account at work that I've been going after for almost a year. And unfortunately, the first big meeting for it is on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. The meeting's probably going to last through the second half of the show. Mm -hmm. What should I do? You got to reschedule. Okay. Girl, you get that bag. <laughs> get your bag. Like, yeah. and you said boyfriend, not husband. <gasps> That's the key word to me. All That's right. not your husband. Fair. If That's he wants you to go to that, that show, you uh -huh. might want to accompany it with a ring. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise... You get your back. Yeah, yeah. Like, and what that, are the stakes? Right. Here? And someone who loves you will understand that. Yeah, you know, if true. this is something you've been working hard for, uh, the show will be there. It's not going anywhere. And, you know, the, but this, you miss this meeting, mm -hmm. you might be selling them tickets while you're in the unemployment line for rent. <laughs> so I would suggest you go to work. That's a, do it. I told you. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> that's that's so You better go to work. Um, my, oh, okay. I'm single. And my three best friends invited me to a dinner with their significant others for Valentine's okay. Day. Y'all, this is crazy. Apparently, straight people do this a lot. Just dispatches from heterosexual uh -huh. um, <laughs> I'm going to go, but would it be rude if I declined to be a part of our always inevitable group pictures? I'm tired of being the drunk one with no man in pictures. Girl, you better live your best life. Let me tell you, some of your friends are miserable in them relationships. And they taking pictures just for the gram. You just the one smiling. They, they wishing they were single like okay. you. Okay. Oh, so wow. they were wishing for that freedom. So okay. embrace it. I would be in that picture with the alcohol bottle instead of the man. Like, embrace <laughs> that. Like, don't be ashamed. I like but if that. you don't want to take the picture, tell your friends. They should understand. Okay, fair. Yeah. All right. I'd be mad at them for reminding me to the dinner. Yes. The first place. I like that. Show that up and show out. champagne bottle would be my date. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs> Okay, one more. Uh, my boyfriend is really into Valentine's Day, and I'm not. How do I tell him I'm not excited about the whole flowers and chocolate things without hurting his feelings? Well, if you're not into it, and it doesn't matter to you, and it's a big deal to him, let him shower you with it. If you don't care, mm -hmm. then what's the big deal in letting okay. him express? Because like you should be a right. Ended. If you're not into it, you could take it or leave it. But he really loves it and enjoys showering it for you. Mm -hmm. Then do that, or make suggestions for something that you oh would God. enjoy doing and combine it. Like if you really enjoy hiking, or if you really enjoy brunch, okay, incorporate it, and then okay. you both are getting something out of it. Practical. Queen, we stand. Yeah. We stand, Nina Parker. Well, Nina, thank you so much thank for joining you for me. You're glowing, me. also. Oh, I'm trying. Like the studio's well, like, that's just the place. blonde wig. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew what? I knew what? Okay, friends, you can watch Dating No Filter on Monday through Thursday and Nightly Pop on Sundays, both on E. I love that you're there. I love that you're shining. Thank you. Uh, up next, Isaac and I are going to read more of your tweets. That was, that was excellent advice. So thank you so much.